The moon looks kind of wimpy. I like the aliens. Good afternoon from New Jersey. It is a Sanjaro's rocket launch, and thanks to Neil's idea, we have a contest closest to the various objects. It's the sun. You win a prize. So we'll see. Now the wind has shifted, so this is going to be a bit problematic. And it's the club thing, so let's have a good time. Did you bring any ball diamond plays for it? I, some people, uh, I just, I said, it's all set. I should have just bought my little guy. <laughs> 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 Anything we need to have your I don't want to use my fingers. Who wants to see us fly? Is it going? No. no. We're ready to fly! Go! Hey, sound engineer! <laughs> oh, boy! Ah, uh, we're ready to fly! Captain, audio, audio, audio! We've got uh, Minos rocket ready to go. Viper. We've got Minos Viper on a C six going in five, four, three, two, one. Where's Brian? Oh, there he is. Oh, Brian. I thought it was my shadow, but it's just Brian. Okay, four, three, two, one. Oh, go ahead. I just want to preface this announcement. This was not my idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Over to you, Neil. <laughs> Over to me. Joanne, Eric, and I wanted to shut up, Blaine. <laughs> Guys, in honor of Brian, the president's birthday, Joanne, Eric, and I created something here, and we're going to let you unveil it birthday present. The only thing is, I'm not letting you keep the parachutes. I'm a cheap ass. Okay. Brace right. yourselves. Hold Brace. on to your small children. Hold on to your small kids. Here you go. Happy birthday. I have to unveil it. But Daffy, they unveil love you. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can only do it once. Oh, oh my god. With the ponytail. With the ponytail. <laughs> I can't wait to see that fly. Will the shoes come off? We're gonna fly. I hope it's more stable than I am. No guarantees. And I just put a bag over it. Do the eyes follow you when you're taking a shower? I hope you weren't doing things in the bedroom that I'd want to see. <laughs> it is a pillow. Your name isn't Chunky, is it? I, I wiped it off. Oh.
there, Eric. Got a Hojo. A Hojo. Whose is it? It's Susan's rocket, but it was built by Eric with a K, not me, Eric with a C. Susan's husband. He passed away a while ago, so she wants to see it fly. He is on it. So we made a couple minor repairs to it, and we get ready to fly it. Should go nice. And uh, I don't know if you'll hear it through these speakers, but that's the uh, launch card. This is a little commemorative flight. The flight of Eric. Susan, so what did you think of your flight? I thought that was a fantastic flight, one that Eric would have been so proud of had he been here. But since I have to be the one to honor him, I can't think of a better group of people than these folks here to help me honor Eric. And I'm retiring. The sun is John right now. It'll never fly again. It'll sit there with um, the flight card and I'll make a little memory spot for it and um if ever pulls any more pranks like not you know having the shoot not work or just falling over in the middle of the night and the other two fins yeah. break off we'll know who to blame you mean this eric no i mean the eric with the k <laughs> well the so, shoot came off thank you so much to everyone that's helped me through and was able to assist in honoring this memorial I'm, I'm ever I'm, I'm so grateful. I can't even begin to tell you how grateful I am. I Come anytime. Am. We're happy to help you. He sounds like our kind of guy. Wish we could have uh, had him in the club. I love you guys. I hope you'll just uh, you'll keep me in. Um, you keep me in. You're gonna have to build a rocket. <laughs> I have some for sure. <laughs> well, it does. My grandson does have have one now, so it maybe does, it will continue. It's not being great. Good flight. Again. Yeah, it was it was wonderful. Basically, it's closest to the pins out there. We've moved a couple over here. At the base of each pin that you see, there's a prize or two. So, closest rocket to the pin wins the prize. And then uh, that rocket is removed, and then we'll, the next closest rocket to whatever prize will win that. Not a moving target, so if you hit here, you'll get a here. So, after this is not this round, but the next round, put your rocket up because you want to be in the contest. And when it lands, it up. We want to judge them all if they're all down. So it's time, contest time with my no Quinn star. Chance. This is going to spin. No Maybe I win a prize. No I don't know. Closest to the alien. Just order. Hey, I'm pad two. We have Dan Sputnik two. It's on a C65. Four, three.
and guess what? I was closest to the sun. I won a motor. Oh, look at this. Excellent. A motor. Better than a kit. Mike isn't there. my shoot. Good evening, New Jersey. It is a post-rocket launch debrief. Where? At Kane, of course. Why? Because they're close. And by the way, it's their 13th anniversary. This is the 13th anniversary step uh, barrel age. Slim Shady. What happens when you get hit in the head with a rock? Wait, wait a second. You got somebody in the way. Just a vagabond. Just a 
Flying on a decoy. I gotta keep talking or he's gonna sing. <laughs> Anticipation. 